Young people are often called digital natives, meaning they're at home in the digital world, the internet, cyberspace. Put any device in a kid's hands, and they will instinctively know their way around it. And it isn't too hard to understand why. We live in a digital culture where we can access the internet anytime, anywhere. Sharing, posting, and streaming. Although we don't need to be taught how to use the internet, if we don't have proper guidance, we may be at risk for serious problems. It may not seem obvious to many of us, but there are many risks that come with the reward of accessing information immediately. In the first place, digital media is networked, which means unlike, for example, traditional TV shows, which is a one-way flow from the producer to you, the end consumer. Digital media flows two ways. The producers will know who is consuming their content. So even if you may not know it, you could be sharing your personal information. Now, imagine you in a theater, exactly like this one. You can see me, you can see the stage, but you cannot see anyone else behind the curtains or backstage. But they can all see you. They are watching you, tracking your every move, and learning everything about you. Now that, that is kind of creepy, isn't it? The internet's like that too. There's so much more going on behind the screen of your devices. It's almost like a dark black hole. Next, we also need to realize that digital media is searchable and shareable. When we post something online, it can be copied, shared, or spread easily. Even disappearing photos or messages can be copied and are always stored on the platform servers. When we post any content on any social platform, always assume that somebody may share it. So be careful of what you put out there because you may not be able to take it back. Finally, digital media have unknown and unexpected audiences. We have absolutely no control over who gets to see the things we share online. Digital literacy is more than knowing how to use the internet. It is one of the most important skills in the 21st century, and it is especially important for today's youths. If literacy means the ability to read and write, then digital literacy is the ability to use, understand, and create content online. Let's discuss the first skill, which is to use. The ability to use isn't just Googling for answers. It's about how to use devices, websites, and other media platforms, which I'm sure many of us already know how to do. It also involves finding credible sources of information. I could use the internet when I was in grade three. I was looking for information about the lion dance for Chinese New Year. It took me around two weeks to complete my presentation. I could use the internet, but I wasn't fully digitally literate yet. My parents taught me early on about security and privacy. I learned not to share anything personal online. No names, no photos, no addresses. I also learned to be careful about my passwords, and most importantly, I learned not to click on suspicious links. The second skill towards digital literacy is the ability to understand. The ability to understand means having the skills to judge and evaluate the things we see and hear online. Are we reading facts or are we reading fake news? Are we getting brainwashed or are we actually getting information? These information we receive can change our behavior and perception of the world. So it is crucial to know when that happens. And as we spend more time online, we need to balance our online and offline lives. We need to understand the difference between a healthy 
and an unhealthy online relationship. And we also need to contribute in our communities in a safe and responsible manner. The third and last skill towards digital literacy is the ability to create. And I'm not just talking about creating a presentation for your class, although that counts as well. I'm talking about creating blogs and posts on social media. And when we do that, it is important to know that whatever we post out there can have an effect on people. The information we share can be understood in many different ways, so we need to be thoughtful of that. Use, understand, and create. Three skills to help accelerate your learning and help you become digitally literate. And the next time you're in front of a screen, and yes, it includes your phone, be mindful of the risks and apply these three skills to become a competent digital citizen. Thank you. Thank you.